Well, here we are at another of London's iconic sporting venues. Tonight, our celebrities will be following in some very famous wheel tracks with Victoria Pendleton and Laura Kenny, just a couple of the women to have won the biggest events in the sport here. This should be an exciting race, Simon. Who has the stamina and leg speed to come out on top? As Phoenix goes to Brown in position one, she's got potential but has struggled for Lucrezia confidence Lucrezia following Lucrezia. that crash in training. Lucrezia Millerini has shown great consistency Rebecca throughout Sarka. the week. Rebecca Sarker, a very competent cyclist, better than most Chelsea. when it comes to following yeah. wheels. Chelsea Grimes worth watching in this. She packs a Christine powerful sprint McGuinness. that could carry her to victory. Christine McGuinness has and the speed Olivia to challenge her and win, but likes to race from the front. And Olivia Atwood has the most natural style on a bike, but she isn't the quickest and lacks confidence. Here comes the little dirty bike. The word dirty basically covers any small uh, motorbike that's used for motor pacing events uh, in cycling. Uh, it was a company of that name in France that made them initially, but it's a generic term now. And as the dirty comes round, oh, we've got a crash already and they haven't even started. It's Chelsea Grimes, I think, who's gone onto the deck and uh, they have a false start already. Well, that wasn't quite the start we were hoping for, can No, we? not at all. She just lost her concentration, did Chelsea. She's all right now, she's up and running. Well, a nervous start there for one of the pre-race favourites, Chelsea Grimes. Olivia Atwood doing well to stay up right there, just chasing her. This is all neutralised, this bit of the race, so don't worry. They are trying to get on with it, though. So now, hopefully, they will be in order any moment now and they will get in behind the Derny bike. Now, the Derny bike has had to slow right down here, obviously. And here we go. We will have one more neutralised lap just to make sure that everyone is OK and up and running. And ideally, in the starting positions, they are meant to be. Once we hear the gun, which hopefully will be over the next time over the line, they will follow the Derny bike for three laps. Then the bike will disappear off the inside of the track a three-lap sprint for the line. Yes. Olivia Atwood is riding her own race well off the back at the moment, so she doesn't seem too perturbed by that. They need to just settle in. Here comes the gun. And away we go for the first lap of the race. And we already have a crash, and Lucrezia Millerini has gone down. So in the first couple of seconds of the race, one of our riders has fallen. Uh, and this has not gone according to plan because they are supposed to be behind the Derny bike for the first three laps of the race. They are not allowed to go past the Derny bike. No wonder the Dernies put a little spurt on and got to the front. What a chaotic Kieran this is turning out to be. Well, it's not the ideal start that we wanted, Simon. It really is a case of what's going on. <laughs> Well, uh, the Derny bike is still winding its merry way around the track. The speed it will be travelling at at the end of its three laps will be 30 kilometres an hour. That, by the way, is the speed it is travelling at at the start of a regular Kieran race. But there's an enormous gap there from the back of the Derny looking to the front of the field. It's Chelsea Grimes at the front. Christine McGuinness is the rider in second place in the pink. And Rebecca Sarka is third. So I have to say, Cammy, with Chelsea Grimes at the front and Christine McGuinness in second place, that so far, uh, they are the two riders that we were expecting to see at the front. So no. the bike has gone, the race is on, and we effectively have three of them still in contention with Phoenix Golza Brown riding on her own back in fourth place. Well, Chelsea Grimes has the right mentality to win this race. Just look at her kick. She's not worried about what's behind her. It's everything in front. Christine is doing great chasing her. Now, Chelsea Grimes with a big lead. Can she keep it going? She will take the bell this time. 250 metres to go. She was a winner on the athletics track yesterday. Is she going to be a winner in the velodrome tonight? 
Chelsea Grimes leads into the back straight. Christine McGuinness is in second place. Rebecca Saka is in third. But now the lactic acid's really kicking in. I think the line may well come in time. Christine McGuinness isn't really closing the gap, but it feels like a long final three laps, I feel, for Chelsea Grimes, who wins the Kieran race. Second place, Christine McGuinness. Third place, not far behind, is Rebecca Saka. Uh, Olivia Atwood has crossed the line, but she is further behind. She hasn't actually finished yet. Phoenix goals at Brown will be the next across the line. She's coming into the finishing straight as Chelsea Grimes celebrates three quarters of a lap ahead of her. Phoenix goals at Brown over the line in fourth place. Christine McGuinness there in second will collect five points. But there's the winner, Cammy. Oh, she's delighted as well. She's got strength in abundance. She's got endurance in abundance. And she's got speed as well. Just look at her kick. She goes for it and she's not stopping at all. What a win. Well, it was a superb performance from Chelsea Grant. She went from the front, she did it the hard way, but nobody had the speed to challenge her. We were wondering whether Christine McGuinness might do so. She has beaten Chelsea in some of their training races, but she didn't have the legs to do it today. A victory for Chelsea Grimes in the women's Kieran. And uh, she is down at trackside now, greeting Christine McGuinness, and they're down there with Alex Scott. <laughs> I am with you both. Chelsea, you seem exhausted. I saw you talking to yourself out there. What were you saying? Uh, to be honest, I felt bad the whole way because of the start. I was so in my own head about getting out quick and getting in front of people because I felt like I was quite far down the pecking order. But obviously, I took Christine. I was I I I'm so sorry. When I went, my seat has been wonky the whole way around the track. I couldn't sit straight looking at my seat. Yeah, it was a massive achievement for you, Christine. I'm happy, honestly, I'm made up with stone. <laughs> yeah, they love you. I'm made up with stone, but I'm gutted my seat weighing straight. I couldn't sit. Chelsea. I couldn't turn. Chelsea, come in, because I could you see, know? was the tactic actually to try and get away from Christine sure, because you knew she was close? <laughs> no, it wasn't. I was trying to get out in front of me, but just before we started, my tyre was a bit this way and, you know, we haven't had that much training and as soon as I went out, the bike just went underneath me. I just feel bad for you guys who I fell into because I felt confident enough that I've got good legs even after that 400 last night. Okay, well, massive congratulations. Give them a round of applause, Simon and Cammy. We're not putting on the brakes just yet. Let's look at those results. Thanks, Alex. Yes, it was certainly a Kieran race like no other. Pretty chaotic, wasn't it, from the moment it started. Chelsea Grimes takes the win ahead of Christine McGuinness. Rebecca Saka not far behind in third. Phoenix in fourth. Olivia claims a couple of points, but Lucrezia Millerini a faller in the first few metres.